Wi-Fi could not connect to the internet. So how to fix that issue? Give a look. Okay guys, you can see over here, it's a uh, settings. You have to open the setting page and somewhere it gonna say the application. Different phone has a different arrangement. So somewhere you're gonna access a list of application. So, so try to access a list of application. So when you access the list of application, somewhere you're gonna find setting. So here's uh, some application manager. So check somewhere settings. Okay, so, okay here on the so I didn't find settings over here. So somewhere try to access a different folder. Somewhere it might find uh, settings. There are these many folders. So here you can see it's all in the list of all application. Somewhere must be settings. It is arranged in alphabetical order. So go to letter S. Yes. What is yes? Here it is the settings. When you click on settings, uh, you can get access to the setting page. Try to clear the case and somewhere to find our uh, stories. So you can just uh, clear the case, clear the data, so read it before you do it because your application data will be permanently deleted. This includes all the file settings that you have done, database and everything. So before you do it, you can read it. Once you have done it, I can go back to same application and you're going to access it. So try to access a uh, list of applications. Okay, not in the default application. Is the application manager. Again, go to settings. It's settings. And then now you'll just uh, you have already cleared the case and cleared the data now you'll force to stop it so what are you guys gonna do just force to stop it click on ok done with the force to stop now what are you gonna do just restart your device now you're gonna check it out see if this method is working Okay guys, you're gonna open the Wi-Fi settings. You're gonna go to setting and you're gonna open the Wi-Fi network setting. The easy way is on the top you have a Wi-Fi network symbol. Tap it for a long and you're gonna see this space. So select your Wi-Fi network, tap it for a few seconds and you're gonna see this option. Click on manage network setting. Now on the top you can see 192.168.100. So you're gonna note down first three value. 192.168.1 so you may be uh, 10 instead of 1 your third value may be 100 or something else so you're going to note down first three value so mine is 192.168.1 change the DHCP to a statistic now you can see you're going to enter over here IP address 192.168.1 three values should be as it is third value you can change third value you can change from 100 to 101 102 103 104 if it is 10 you can change it to 11 12 13 14 if it is uh, something like 18 19 20 or 30 you can change it to 31 32 33 just make a little bit changes now come down your gateway should be 192.168.1.1 so leave it as it is your gateway so the gateway should be like a, you can say first three value 192168 dot so your gateway might be like 100.1 or 200 sorry guys it should it might be 200.1 or it might be your gateway might be like 10.1 so the first three value do not change the last value should be one for gateway so never change first three value 
now the DNS you just have to delete it and you can see it is given here you can put it dot it dot it dot it now DNS2 you can see leave it as it is or you can just put as it is 8 dot 8 dot 4 dot 4 ok now everything is fine click on save now you can see it's connecting connected now try to browse your internet make sure it is working if it do not work tap it again for a few seconds click on manage network setting so this time so you'll just make a slight uh, changes in the IP address so DNS address uh, you just make a little bit changes so try to put in a DNS address 1 so remove DNS address 2 it should be empty in DNS address 1 we had 8.8.8.8 so 4 value all over 8.8.8.8 change it to 192, 1.68 and 1.1 .1. So we'll put the DNS one as 192.168.1.1 and then click on save. So this will also connect your network. Now try to browse the internet and see if it is working. Okay, so you're going to open the setting in your phone and then so somewhere, so different phone has a different arrangement. So somewhere you're going to check for updates. In my phone, it's a about device. And here it is on the top itself software update in some point in the setting page itself in the on the top you'll find a system update and all of this stuff so somewhere you're gonna find update or you can search manually on the search in setting now click on update now it will check for updates and install all necessary updates sometime updating a system will fix your lots of problem the last update has already been installed. So if any update is available, just update it. It will definitely fix lots of your problem. So update your phone and check it out. Okay guys, open the setting inside your phone and you're going to find developer option. You do not find developer option anywhere. You want to go to about device and then you're going to see the build number. You can tap it for seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see developer mode has been enabled. Go back now. Now you're gonna search for developer option. You're gonna find over here developer option. Click on developer option. Come down. And somewhere setting related to network. So somewhere you're gonna find uh, it's a use legacy DSCP client. So if you find somewhere uh, it's a DHCP use legacy DSCP client, then you're gonna have to enable it. So every phone do not have this uh, DHCP legacy client. So if you do not see anywhere use uh, DHCP legacy client in your phone, say so skip it or if you have to that particular option use DHCP legacy client in your phone you just have to enable that DHCP legacy client and restart your phone and check it out open your Wi-Fi so it's very simple and easy to open just click on this Wi-Fi just tap it for a long and you're gonna see this Wi-Fi page or you can just open it through setting so you're gonna click on this more sorry guys don't turn it off click on more on the top and you can see here it is keep Wi-Fi on during sleep click on that sometime you're gonna see the advanced option or some other option check in different uh, different phone has a different arrangement so check it somewhere uh, over here you might find something like something more whatever just try to check uh, if it, there is an option try to check inside different for uh, option somewhere you're gonna find keep Wi-Fi on during sleep so the, your option should be always if it is uh, never or only one plugged in you just gonna change it to 
just change it to always so the your setting should be always so and then after you're gonna check it out turn your Wi-Fi off and turn it back again and you're gonna check it out whether it's fine or not okay guys so you're gonna find setting in your phone and open the setting inside setting somewhere you're gonna find backup and reset different phone has a different arrangement even you can search over here at the on the top on the search you can make a source for backup and reset or you can just make a source for network setting reset and all this so in my phone here I have inside additional setting so in some phone you'll find it on the top itself here I have a backup and reset so when you open the backup and reset you're gonna see at the bottom here I have a network setting reset when I click on that here you have an option for the network setting reset this will reset all your network setting including Wi-Fi mobile data and Bluetooth so before you continue different phone has a different arrangement so read it before you continue so it will reset all your password and everything so just below the page at the bottom here you have a reset setting click on that it can ask you to enter the pattern now it can ask you whether you want to reset so click on ok after reading it now you can see network setting has been reset and when you go to the Wi-Fi, it's gonna ask you for the password again. So re-enter the password, try to connect, and then check it out. Open the keypad. You're gonna type a star has zero zero one one and has. You're gonna see this. Click on more. Go to Wi-Fi. And now you're gonna see this. I scroll down, and you can see here you have an option. You're gonna press here is Wi Fi power save mode. Turn it off. Let's turn it off. Done. Now go back and restart your device. After restart, you're gonna check it out.